Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to Retro Bros Championship Episode 3. My name is Billy. I'm joined once again with my co-host Jimmy. Billy, you know what? This has been an absolute debacle right now. An absolute debacle for DJ Tiki. He's 0 and 2. Dago, absolute momentum. I mean, this is this is week three. You know, DJ Thicky really needs to step up for this one. Yeah, absolutely, Jimmy. You nailed it right on the head. You can see from all the comments in last week's episode, people are not happy. They're not happy about Jimmy's performance so far. But you mean DJ Thicky's performance? DJ Thicky, my bad, Jimmy. <laughs> you know, you gotta get it right. But they're not happy. But they still have that hope because of what happened last season. You know, that that's a huge thing. It plays on a lot of people's minds what happened last season, and especially Dago's, but the way Dago was playing for the last two games, you know, Perfect Dark, just an absolute smash, smashed him, you know, and the tactics shown last week, and, uh, you know, Thicky's racing lines was just terrible in Micro Machines, and uh, you know what, my 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 tip is Dago's gonna take this one out as well. Just, just because the way he's playing at the moment, Billy. Wow, well, there you go. Uh, an early tip from Jimmy. Uh, We've got to let you guys know that we are playing a Sega Mega Drive game, a fan favorite game of the Retro Bros. They do love playing this. You know, I was very excited when I saw, you know, the, the Mega Drive come out because, you know, these it's got a lot of classic games on the Mega Drive. And you know what? The game that I was hoping for, it finally came out. Yeah, yeah. We saw it from last season as well, and it is the Pete Sampras Tennis on the Sega oh Mega Drive. God. They love playing this game. Very competitive one-on-one -on -one game. You know, it's old school tennis, man, at its best. You know, Pete Sampras is one of those games, a lot of people, you know, they just might think it's hitting the ball, but it is a lot more than that. I can tell you 100%, I've played it, mm. Billy's played it, it is harder than it looks. You, you have to get the right pressure on the button. Right. It is so tough to get a good shot in. It is, it's very tough. The technique is, is very skillful, Jimmy, and I'm looking forward to seeing who takes this one out. Uh, you know, let's let's see if Dago can uh, keep that winning streak going. 100. percent And I can see, I can see Dago about walking down yes. right now. And I think we're, I think we're about to get going to a retro we, stadium right now. Definitely, Jimmy. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's cross over live to the stadium. <sighs> ah, feels good. It feels very good. Two nil up in the season. Four. I'm feeling good. I got my Diet Coke. I'm sipping. I'm sipping and slipping to the victory, baby. Bring it on. How's it going, Thicky? Oh, 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 oh Billy, shit. look at the seriousness. Get into it. Wow. DJ Thicky's face right Yeah, there. you Thicky's can see back, here, his intense face. He Thicky really wants to beat Doggo right now. No, here we go. This is a huge. Huge game oh, right out. there. Come on! Out. So gets Dago up. is serving. Confident. Dago is at the bottom of the screen right now, and Thicky is up the top. Oh, great rally here. Absolute great rally. Sound, a great rally for the second point here, Jimmy. Hey, what a rally. Oh, look at this rally. This, rally. Is, this is about a 20-shot rally right here, Billy. This is huge. Oh, Who's going to go for the winner here? Oh my god, I can't. You can't even talk about it. Wow, there you go. The second point went for a nice bit of time. Third? Oh, you know what? 40 love by Dago. This, you can see straight away, Billy. Dago has just set the present straight. Oh, he went long outside of the baseline there, Billy. He sure did. He sure did. He's confident now. He can take a few risks here by just pumping that up and get the power on that D-pad. You know, we talked about it, didn't we? There at the it start. is. You know, you just have to get that technique so right. You know, now they swap sides. DJ Thicky serve. Can he hold serve, Billy? This has got to be huge. If Dago gets a two, uh, two games to love lead here, it's going to be trouble. Yeah, absolutely. He's feeling the pump already so early into this Pete Sampras match. It is crucial right now. You know, this is so tactical. You know, it might not look like much to, you know, the people out there, but I'm telling you right now, Billy, this game, it's so tough to get the good shot in. You know, you got you just got to play it right. Dickie goes out wide there with the serve. Oh, unforced error by... See, this is good. This is what Dickie wanted. He needs some confidence, getting a couple of easy points. Oh, my God. Interesting. Well, Dago's not happy. That that ball was close to the line. That right is there. an interesting call. Let's have a look at this on replay, ladies oh and gentlemen. Oh my God! Is this? No way. That was it's in. It's called out. No, 
No, that's on the Interesting line. Interesting call by the linesman. Not overruled at all by the umpire. You know, the chair umpire really needs to stick up there and overrule that. That ball was in. There was no space between the line and the ball. Yeah, that's a horrible call by both umpires there. We Terrible. can clearly see. You know, but guess what, you know, Billy? Vicky needs all the help he can get right now. He needs to really step up one game all. Good win. There you go. You just said it. One game apiece. Now, DJ Vicky has that little bit of confidence in the back. You know, you saw it, didn't you, Billy, when, uh, you know, DJ Thickey walked in. He had that look in his eye. He's determined to make this 2-1. No use of the power play we might add, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so everyone, they're just playing for one point this round. That was a, that's another contentious call by the referee. Let's take a look at this on instant replay, ladies and gentlemen. Is this another mistake? That looks like it has clipped the line and called out once again, Jimmy. Uh, you know, Billy, this that's two bad mistakes uh, by the chair umpire and line umpire there. You know, that was, that was on the near side of the chair umpire, and the chair umpire needs to overrule that. You know, Dago cannot be affected by the umpire's decisions, you know, when it comes to Retro yeah. Stadium. It's 15.30 You know, 15.30 here. You know, DJ Thickey, if he breaks Dago's serve here, he could be trouble. Oh my god, DJ think he's not happy about this about this serve here. Instant replay, Billy. Wow, yeah, I'm just... Let's um, have a look. I, wow, is that... Is that clip the line as well? No, that's a good call. That that was wow. inside. I think that's a great call by the, the line up higher there. <laughs> well, I just got... I just Sorry, I was just away there having a word with one of the... Uh, uh, the uh, backup umpires and they're getting ready to fill in because uh, they're wow. getting called that uh, the umpire is maybe uh, doing a few dodgy calls out there. You know, this this is the importance of, you know, season four in retro, you know, retro stadium here. They, they, they need to get the right umpires, you know, they don't want to affect these players too much with these erroneous and terrible calls. Absolutely. Great. Great That's vocabulary that. word there, D uh, Jimmy, but holy crap a moly, it is 40 apiece. No way. That's that's on the lion! Yeah, that was a great call. I think it was called in, so that was fine. Yeah, that was a great call. That was on the line. Come on! Oh my Thicky god. Thicky is not happy about that. You know, Thicky, you know, doesn't wave his hat too too often, but you know when he does, he's very supremely frustrated. We're on juice. Second serve. You see, you see Dago, he's he's really using that power serve. He's trying to get that what we talked about, Billy, you know, just getting that right amount of pressure on the D-pad to hold down for the speed. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of pressure here, Jimmy. A lot of pressure with a great angle shot by Dago. He was happy about that one. That looked like a bit of grandpa tennis going on there. You know what I mean? Just back and forth. But Dago with the cross court winner. Just beautiful, Billy. Beautiful. He just basically, oh. Oh, he's calling he for a replay. replay again, ladies and gentlemen. He, he looked like he got called out. Has it clipped the line? Well. You know, Hawkeye, Hawkeye says, you know, that ball's out. But that was another contentious call. So many calls in this game right now, isn't there? Really? Yeah, yeah, it's on the line. They're, they're, they're so eager to try and get this break. Cause, oh, it's another nice rally. A little lob shot by by Thickey. This is Lob City here. You know, they're trying to they're trying to psych each other out here. But who's going to get that angle? Who's going to get that beautiful angle first, though? Oh, this is this is another 25 plus shot rally here. Look at this Lob City by Thick. I think he went for the cross court here. Game Doggo. He holds his nerve and his serve right there. Well said, Billy. That was perfect. You know, and I think Doggo was playing that kind of style to, to get inside Thicky's head, you know, because he knew Doggo had the advantage there, Billy. And he knew he knew DJ Thicky had to hit a winner. So he put the pressure on Thicky to do it. Oh. And guess what? Thicky choked. Ladies and gentlemen, he is go he's had enough. He's going to talk to the chair umpire because of this call. Let's just see how this looks on the super slow-mo. He's called oh, that's out. out. That's out. I believe. I believe, you know, look, we'll have a look. Let's have a look, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think? Yeah, what do you think at home? I'm pretty sure this lands out. You can see the shadow. No, that ball's out. That ball <sighs> is out. But he's not happy, you know, after those contentious line calls, he's, he's giving some chair umpire some verbal abuse there. Yeah, absolutely verbal abuse is right, Jimmy. But oh my god. Oh, look, that was a terrible serve. Look at that. That was literally down the other side, you know? Big, strong second serve by Thicky there under pressure. 
Dago leads two games to one. Another long rally. Who's gonna go for that angle shot? Oh, it's out. Oh, it's it's out. Too much up on the D-pad. We talked about that earlier. This game is on serve. There's no cracks yet. Not yet. Yo, what do you think about you know uh, you know Dago's last two points? They've been a bit sloppy. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh. Well, I like to call that an Andre Agassi special on the return. An AA special there. Great, great word, really. You know, you see Dago's face. Look at Dago smiling, and you know, look at look at the seriousness. You know, you can see Dago looks more relaxed. And Dickie just wants to win so bad. Interesting call. Oh, Dickie's not happy. A very interesting call. We're going to the replay system on this one. It's that's hit the line. Oh, come on. That that line has that line umpire needs to go, Billy. Oh my oh, oh my, my god, my that's goodness. on the line. That was on the <laughs> line, Billy. Holy moly, we have some contentious calls yeah, that here. That line umpire needs to go. <laughs> We're going to a replay again on a service. That is called out. Can you believe that? What is happening here in Retro Stadium, Jimmy? Uh, I don't know, but this umpiring Holy really... Holy crap! This umpiring really needs to be looked at. There is some terrible calls going on here. But anyway, yeah. you know what? You, you, can't, you can't blame the umpires, Billy. You know, you... You need to you need to be making shots. You know, a lot of times, you know, Dago and DJ think you make a lot of mistakes. But you know, it's it's literally up to them. You know, to, to make to to win the game. Yeah, you, you gotta keep your cool, keep your composure, oh, even go getting all these bad calls. Oh, Advantage Dago. This is a big game. He's gonna break DJ Thicky right here. This is huge, Billy. And Dago just did a little dance there. He's very, very happy with the way he's playing right now. Game Dago, he has the break, Jimmy. You know, you know, Billy, have you seen Dago's hand? He Dago's putting his hands up and he's He's telling Thicky where the line is. You know, he's drawing the line in the sand with Thicky right now. He's like, I've got you. I've got you in this game. Great call. Oh my god. A, a big lob shot by Doggle there. Just drops over the net. And Thicky slams it home. You know, I think Thicky's big, you know, he's, he's, take, he's taking the Mickey out of Doggle right here. You know, he, you know, he's probably trying to get under Doggle's skin as well, you know, because Doggle's been dancing and prancing around. You know what I mean? Bit, bit maybe overconfident, Billy, but uh. DJ Thicky, you know, he, he just needs to concentrate. Oh. He just, you know, DJ Thicky shouldn't be dancing around when he's just being broken. He needs to give 100%, Billy. That's right, Jimmy. Absolutely. It's all in the body language. We're keeping your composure. Not get too excited, but you can't blame Doggo right now. He is feeling so comfortable. I mean, look at the way Doggo's hitting the ball. He's, he's got great movement around the court, and he's, he's hitting the angles a lot better than Thicky right now. Yeah, and you can see he's just playing safe, just getting that ball over the net, making DJ Thickey play the angles. That's right, you know, and this is this is perfect, Doug. You know, this is great. You know, a lot of people might say this is, you know, bo boring tennis, but this is not. This is amazing tennis and tactical, you know, and you know why, Billy, because he's getting into DJ Thickey's head. He knows, he knows. See what I mean? And then he finishes him off like that. <sighs> You know, you could almost see he's wearing down Thicky with he that is. play. He's grinding him there perfectly, said Billy. He's grinding. Oh, look there. Go for instant replay. Oh, that. Is that called in? That was called oh, in. That was cool. Yeah. Yeah, on the line. Great ah, serve. Yeah, great serve. And look at look at the dance now. Look at the dancing 40, right now. 15 to go. Four games to one up. Oh, that was a nice oh, cross cut. Very that was a nice. Nice cross cut forehand by. Uh, by Thicky right there. Oh, on the, he tries to go down the middle. I saw it. He tries to go down. I like that. Look, he doesn't. I kind of think he doesn't really know which side he's going to right now. Thicky really needs this point, Jimmy. He needs this point. This is probably the most. No, it's out. He's gone no. wide. Doggo takes it four games to one. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be witnessing another destruction of DJ Thickey right now. You know, this could be the hat trick for Doggo right now. I mean, that was a huge point, Billy. You know, 30 40, three games to one down. Thickey needed that point, and, and I think he played a real low percentage, terrible shot there. You know, he just needed to keep the rally going. And he tried to go for the winner, but it didn't pay off. And now Dago's got 4 1 lead on serve. Dago has come up to the net, putting pressure on Thickey, and it's worked absolutely beautiful. He's gone long, and oh my god, it's just looking out of control right now. 
Oh my oh. god, that was beautiful. He's that pushed. was beautiful. And, and literally, oh, you know, and right now he's turned the hat back with Billy, and you know what that means. Wow, he is unbelievably confident. He is showing off. He's, look, look at this shot. We're showing the replay, ladies and gentlemen. He hit oh that my on goodness. the full. Look at this. On the full. Kaboom. Full volley like that, full speed. And and, and Dickie oh, just dives, but it was 10 good. seconds later. That ball already passed him. And see you next Sunday, Billy. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> next Sunday. That's a great call, Jimmy. You know, Doug, you can see Dago, you know, in this game, Billy. You know, I, I, I've looked, I've, you know, I've analyzed the play and, you know, Dago is moving around the court. He's cutting off the angles. He's moving up. He's moving back. He's lobbing. He's he's keeping those rallies. He's getting into DJ Tiki's head. And Tiki wow. can't handle it. And now look, this is 5-1. This is an absolute demolishing of I can't, DJ Tiki right now. I can't believe it. I thought we'd see more of a fight, especially those first two games. Uh, was was lots of rallies and lots of back and forward, but holy crap, I didn't see this coming. You know, for the fans of DJ Thicky, they'll be hurting right now because they know this is this highly looks like a three nil loss in the season right now. Okay, well he's got the first point. He needs needs this game. Otherwise, it's game over. You know, even five two down, Billy, it's going to be a huge ass, but. I hope to, you know, let, let's, oh, I want some good competition here. DJ Thicky needs to get back in there. He needs to try something different, you know. He needs to, he needs to get more oh. of the angles going on here. Yeah, absolutely. But if nothing's happening for him. He even got a double bouncer right there. He, he can't even get to the bounce of the ball. It's just not happening. And you saw a beautiful return uh, oh. there. Yeah, Dago's got confidence. He's got enough points to play with. He can just go for his shots and finish him off. Perfectly said, Billy. You know what? He's exactly right. There's no need for him to, you know, pussyfoot around. He's there. It, he, he, he can go for his shots right now. He's got that huge lead. He's on serve. It doesn't really, it doesn't really matter right now. Wow, here you go. Well, there is a break point. A little bit of life left right into Thicky right now. Can he get the break point? You know, Billy, oh, let's have a look here. It was called out know, by the linesman. It looked like oh. a good call. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't <laughs> know about that, Bill. It was very close to me. But anyway, look, look. No, that's out. You know. Game Thicky. So oh, DJ Thicky, you know what? What kind of chance? So tell me, Billy. What? What do you think he's got a chance? Do you think he can win this match? Uh, look, it's a long way back, but you know where there's a flame, there's fire. And in Thicky's belly, we've seen from last season, he could do anything. When there's a fire in someone's belly, you know, any, anything can happen. Isn't that right, Billy? That's right, Jimmy. But here we go. Doggo already with the first point. When there's smoke, there's fire. And DJ Thickey, you know, look at this. He's already, he's, already, he's already down. You know, he's already down one point. He needs this point. And look, they're playing grandpa tennis right here. And this is what Doggo's done so well. Getting into DJ Thickey's oh. head. Yeah, he was just up on the net putting it back into his feet and it paid off 30 nil to Dago to finish this championship 40 love wow Thick, Thicky's just frustrated right now he's just going for that winner and you know you, you can just see Thicky look he, the, just the demeanor all game you know and look Dago's running around in circles right here he's that confident Wow. What a shot. What an <laughs> ending shot. Did you see that? He was running around in circles, just turns around wow. and it's a, it's a backhand winner. Wow. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, look, like I said to Jimmy just then, I thought there was a little spark in Dickies going to that last game, but Doggo just, he's got that confidence. He's got all the points that he can play with. He can just go for his shots, and they paid off. You know, he outclassed Thicky once again, tactically and, and skillfully as well. He... He was carving up the court, you know, uh, uh, Dago was. He was coming into the net, he was going out of the net, he was hitting the angles. Thicky really had no tactical game in that game. And once again, it's proven that you need tactics in retro games to step ahead. Now it's currently 3-0. 3-0. Unbelievable circumstances. We are seeing exactly what happened in last season. This is unbelievable, Jimmy. Huge. You know, we're, we're going to hear from the players right now and, uh, and see what they say. But... Um, yeah, let's cross let's, over let's to cross the next. I'll tell you what, three losses in a row, not happy, not happy. Perfect dark, Micro Machines, Pete Sampras, I'm not playing well, I'm not playing well. But I'm not scared, I'm not scared, I'm not scared of what's going on. I was in this position last year, even worse, four down, I was four losses down and I came back. This is only three down. 
I know I'm in trouble. I know I'm in absolute trouble right now, but DJ Thicky never gives up. DJ Thicky will fight to the very end. Doggo needs two more wins, and I know one thing about Doggo, he sweats. He sweats, he was four nil up last season. And ladies and gentlemen, he provided the biggest choke in retro games history last season. And I know it's not over, we've got, how many games, we've got six more games to go. Doggo needs five wins, I need to get back. Probably use my power play next week so I get two wins. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go back to the drawing board, smash it out, come back next week with a fight. So DJ Thicky next week, baby, he's gonna win. Boom! <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you a little story. Season three, DJ Thicky, he came back after being four nil down. It's kind of looking like a similar story this season. Make no mistake about it. This season will always be remembered as the destruction of DJ Thicky. This season will be historic in all gaming history because Doggo is going for a clean sweep. Make no mistake about it, ladies and gentlemen, this season is all about revenge. And the doggo is coming. Wow, you heard it right there first, Jimmy. I mean, wow, doggo, you heard it all in his words. He is out for revenge from last season, Jimmy. You know, you can hear by the tone of his voice and the words that he's using, there's a bit of anger and frustration from last season. He wants to come back and destroy DJ Thicky and really prove who's the better video game player. Wow, yeah, that's unbelievable. Look, uh, we saw a little glimmer of hope in Thicky. He's not giving up because he knows what he can do. But uh, wow, that, that promo at the end by Dago, it's, uh, it has me a little bit scared, I think. You know, but scared of excitement yeah. because, you know, we, we love this competition. We love commentating it and there's nothing better when you see someone that just wants something so bad. You got DJ Thicky wanting to win, mm. wanting to win so bad, but you got Dago on the other hand, full of momentum, wanting to destroy. Yeah. And he and the words that he used, make no mistake about it, Oof. destruction. He is strong right now. Wow. Yeah, it's a crazy, it's crazy, man. It's three nil to Dago in season four Retro Bros Championship. Unbelievable circumstances once again, Jimmy. And uh, look, uh, we're done. We're done for Pete Sampras. We'll be back same time next week. Next Sunday. Yep. Hope to see you there. But we don't know what console we're going to. You know, we don't find out right to the time before we commentate. But uh, I can't wait. But, uh, you know, I think I think let's talk about, you know, just quickly about the power play. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is a perfect time um, for DJ Thicky to use the power play right now. Remember, this is worth two points if he decides to play it. Or Dago can use it and finish the season. Ooh, yeah, he definitely can as well. So let's just say I'm pretty sure this might get played next week because DJ Thicky needs those points. 100%. All right. All right, next Sunday, here we go. All right, till then. See ya.